Because I was thinking Bayonetta did those, maybe? That would be kind of cool. Alright. Link and Ban. Going straight to it. I must say, I'm really liking Raiden's uh, Bayonetta. I'm seeing stuff that I haven't seen before. Like, first hit a forward hair into forward smash. I still, that's just a great conversion for Bayonetta. Anyway, I think we're going straight into this though. Starting off, Banna just spacing out with bold arts. Pretty good so far. I guess I grab with no follow up off of it. Too early a percent, I think, to get a to get something though. So. Yeah, he's, he's spacing out pretty well, using these bold arts a lot more. I think it's just the matchup, but it's a really good off, good uh, decision making. He's paying off for Brandon pretty well so far. He's just keeping out Link, which is kind of the thing that Link should be doing with his projectiles. But right now, he's forced to play more aggressively with his projectiles. Oh, that might actually be the stock. Yeah, I, I thought he was gonna. I thought I was gonna see back throw down or down smash. I really did, but no. Let's not go for that. But uh, Brandon can still get this pretty easily, so Ty has to be very wary, especially off stage right now. Witch Twist. Wow! Witch Twist gimping Link. Okay. That, another dance. Dance, boys. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's where my Let's Dance take came from. From, from the trailer. Of course. And it's just it wouldn't work right now. Good up air. Um, the extended up air actually looks pretty nice too. Yeah, these bold arts are giving Ty a really hard time. Oh, he tries to go for that combo, but does not get it. That's the bat within. Ooh. That was a weird footstool. Okay, that bomb. Oh, well, there you go. Ty might be able to get the stock here. Uh, down throw. No follow-up. Jumps out of it. Smart stuff. Brayden does not get that kill. And neither does Ty. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is looking pretty decisive for game one. But this is winner's final. So, this might be a longer set. Hopefully. Alright. Give him that work. Back throw. Is he able to gimp him? Wow, he has his bomb. Okay, so he's definitely gonna make this one back for sure. Trying to cover that uh, approach option. Back air to seal it. Wow, great two stop to start off this set. Let's see how Ty can change things up here. Now, I feel like much as I don't feel like he usually plays this way, but I feel like he might have to change time. I have to change up his playstyle here to take out Bayonetta, but let's see what he does here. Um, what I'm thinking is he might have to play a little more aggressively because Brandon is getting a lot, and I mean a lot, off of these boulders, which is much one thing that you kind of want to get with Bayonetta. Boulders are just really beneficial. And he's so far not really getting too baited by uh, Witch Time, baiting it out instead and getting a punish off of it. So that's also something that I'd want to see, and I am seeing it, so I'm good. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Awesome, nice uh, conversion into the back air there. Bomb, no fall up there. Oh, nice. Down connection into the forwarder does not go for the up B out of the second hit after out of the first hit. That is, I want to say it's not true though because much as I see it a lot in tournament, I never get it myself, and it's not like I'm bad at timing anything or anything. It's just that it doesn't look true at all. And wow, great up smash to catch the Link right there. Oh boy, that's getting caught right now. So let's see. Good conversion into the up tilt right now. Dash attack, it's not gonna kill though. I think he's realizing now that he has to play a little more aggressively to get get these kills here, so. Mm -hmm. 
And now Brayden just hold it, holding that ledge right now. And uh, that's definitely not what he wanted to do because that forward is just going to take him right there. But uh, wow, great conversion from uh, Ty, getting 40% off of that. Good stuff right there. Just needs to keep it up, keep it a little longer. Oh, there's the, there's the witch time. Dog, oh, if that dog assisted a kill, I would have loved it. Oh, I, I can see that with Bayonetta. Oh, I can see it. I want to see it now. Well, maybe one day I'll see it. But, uh, back throw it again. Stage control for Ty. Good, good option choice. Yeah, that's just what Ty needs right now. That's, what I see from him as a player in general is that he benefits from that so much. Especially his character, so. I see Brayden hiding in there, hiding in the bushes with the uh, bullet climax. I see him. Trying to be sneaky. Can't be sneaky to a little Yoshi right here. <laughs> Alright, once again, getting that stage control. Knowing his priorities. Almost at that percent where down throw might follow up into upper. Nope, not close enough to the brown to the leaf there. This is looking very, very close. Oh, that grab fourth throw is not gonna do it from center stage. Abena's fourth throw is a kill throw, but not too too strong, so. He's just facing out with these forwarders right now. Very, very smart play. Wow, great read on that, and that will take game two. Time will clench, clench it out. I'm seeing good stuff from both players so far. Ty is just not. Ty knows to not fall for the. Which time? Sometimes he'll let it happen, sometimes he won't. He's mixing it up, and that's very, very good against Bayonetta. So for game three, we're gonna go to Omega Net. Here we go. Here, up smash. Interesting. Um, yeah, that, that's what I want to see. I want to see confirmed stuff. Good forward smash too. Getting all this damage right now. Same thing with the forward air once again. I like that decision making actually, because I don't see Bayonetta players do that. And I've seen quite a few Bayonetta players in tournaments in a watch. But uh, it's looking very, very useful. Right now he's just holding, holding this very well. He's controlling the ground very nicely, making it very hard for Ty to land. Oh, a climax? Good, good, good no knowledge on that. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, there we go, good stuff, yeah. I have seen, I have seen him recover earlier, so I was, I was kind of thinking that was a technical flop, but he did make that back, so there you go. Bullet arts right there. Yeah, he's starting to use it less, which I approve of, mixing things up now. It worked for game one, but now that Ty has changed play styles, it's definitely not going to work as much. <laughs> that wall cling. I swear. Gilbert Ring assisting her. Banda's recovery actually did jump out. Wow! Wow, really the jump out with the happy! So cool! Alright, bomb down throw. Tries to read the witch time with the down smash. Yeah. And needs to get this. Oh, yeah, he still has a jump. Okay, good. I really shouldn't be worrying about Brandon. He's done. I haven't really seen him as he yet. Too, too much. He's recovering. He's mixing up his recovery fairly well. Right now, Ty is just controlling the ground, though. That's what Brayden needs. He needs that ground. And once he gets it, he can just keep Ty up in there. Oh boy. Good punisher there. There you go. That's 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 that good yeah, right there back air. So it's not too too hard for him to bring this back, especially if he gets this right here. Yes! Okay. Getting all that damage, but I didn't expect the kill actually, I just expected damage. But that was good. Common nonetheless gets the slide kick into another witch twist. Does not get the afterburner kick after, so there you go. Four throw. Yes. Whoa, almost almost dying to that, uh up there. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Getting the combos right now. Back here. Nope. Make off stage. He's gonna make it back. He throws the bomb up to cover his recovery and a great run up up smash to take that sock tie up 2 1. Hmm. I'm wondering if Braden is uh, solo, solo bad at it today. Because he does have. I know that he has a cloud, but it's fairly decent. To uh, we'll see what we do. Oh no, we're seeing Ty switching to his Ike. Okay. This should be interesting. Ike. All right, well, here we go, boys. Game four on Umbra Clock Tower. Let's dance, fellas. Nice back there. Right, I kind of want to analyze that. Ty is nice, actually, to see if you can get out of it. Okay, that was a really weird upbeat right there. Great punish from Brayden. But, uh, that's what you do. You, you, sometimes you gotta play weird. Here. Uh, here, co here comes the platforms. This this stage, I I've seen so much controversy over it. So I'm wondering if we're gonna be keeping this stage legal in our area. I kind of like the stage. Just, I like Talbert too. I like the stage as much as that. Um, got to got to see representation of the stage. Oh, oops. That was a mistake. <laughs> Dash attack, witch chicks, twist. Oh, well, oh. spaghetti for a spaghetti. There you go. Um, I'm really confused right now, actually. <laughs> there. Yeah, we got this. Braden will um, hold stage control, but that platform right there is going to force tie. I mean, Braden to force tie. Approach tie, or we're going to see some. Yeah, no need to approach there. Just going to wait this one out, I think. Trying to get some forward air chip damage, I love it. Forward air, forward smash, not gonna connect. Okay. Forward tilt, okay. No follow up, but tries to get the nair, it's set in there. Take the effort. Alright, just getting all this good stuff right now. After burner kick, tries to connect. Good witch time. Is that going to be enough? Forward smash. That will do it. Alrighty. Oh, Bayonetta. He's so sassy. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yep, we're gonna see the switch back to. Honestly. <laughs> it felt like uh, Brayden had a lot more control there, so. I don't know, maybe he's used to I? Question? I don't know. Well, anyway, we're gonna go back to what works and what works is Link versus Bayonetta. And Battlefield was a choice. Interesting. I know that Ty uh, has taken a few people here. So. Sometimes they really question uh, Ty's stage choices, but um, you know, it's Link. Um, you don't really know where Link goes when they're at this level, at this caliber. So I'm learning every time. Oh, I love Ty. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm liking these bomb shots actually. They keep it enough from getting your slide kick. Yeah, good multi jab to catch that spot dodge too. Yeah, I missed tech and that's gonna equal a punish. 
jab to grab. Good mix up. Tries to get a witch to itself, but not going to connect it. So, um, yeah, Link, Link is just holding Sage Troll pretty well. I feel like the Sage actually helps him do it better. I don't know. Wow, great forward tilt. That will punish Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. Good grab. That's not gonna kill though. So, gonna try to go off stage and witch twist to kill. Interesting option. Um. Alrighty, another four throw. Um, not quite gonna do it. So. There we go. There's, there's the back air he was looking for. Travis. I am. Hmm. Okay, these jabs. Good mix up into the grab. Jabs just doing a lot of good pressure. I like that option to die. Good pivot grab. All these projectiles catching her. Wow. This is going to be actually kind of hard to do here. Ty is just punishing a lot of what Bayonetta can do right now. Making it very hard for her to get any of her status. He's just looking for damage right now, trying to get these backers. Backer is kind of safe on shield after all. There we go. That that's what he was looking for, and he will get that him up to 30%. Up air, up air, up. Which twist? Not quite gonna convert off of that. I think a jump up here that might have connected. I don't know. Forto almost killed Bayonetta here, so. Yeah, he will make that back. Saving his up B to boot. Jeez. Yep, making that back too. That's what I expected. Just barely avoiding that up air. Yeah, good nair. Good patience waiting for the witch twist for the witch time there. Nair, is this gonna be it here? Okay, back throw. Trying to get the down here right there. Not gonna do it. Wow, okay. Witch twist. Confirm kill move. And Brandon will move into Grand Finals. There you go. Good stuff.